Good morning guys and welcome to day 40 of the lockdown and I've got quite a lot to get through with you today so this is the UR daily update and I'm going to go through things one at a time. I've got some notes just to make sure I don't miss anything out but first of all what a big milestone we've made it to day 40 and we're all still uh, training we're all still working hard we're still kind of focused and we're doing lots of things to kind of help keep you moving and uh, keep each other moving and keep our minds and our bodies in tip-top shape throughout the lockdown okay so first thing I want to do is shout out to uh, Kevin Barrett so cheers Kevin and a good chat with Kevin yesterday as I say I'm ringing round and trying to talk to to all of you over the next couple of weeks okay it's taking me a little bit of time to get hold of people I left a I think I left a voicemail yesterday for I went through the Kevins yesterday for uh, <laughs> Kevin Atwell and Kevin Brooks and then I managed to speak to Kevin Barrett as well but Kevin is someone who, uh, you know, I don't get to speak to a lot. He's not really on social media. But he said to me yesterday, he's been watching the videos every day. And he updated me with how he's doing with training. And he's, he's such a motivated, high energy guy. You know, I got off the phone with him. I was like, God, bloody hell, you know, he's so full of energy. So just want to say well done, Kevin, and, and keep up all the great work. OK, so um, first of all, today, 10 a.m., Dave Atkins from Principal Physiotherapy, uh, the in-house resident physiotherapist for Unique Results, is doing a live Q&A via Zoom today at 10 a.m. So if you've got any niggles, if you've got any injuries, if you've got any concerns around kind of pain and training and what you should be doing, you know, maybe when you should, uh, you know, push through a bit of discomfort and when you need to back off, all those kind of really practical questions uh, you need to speak to or you need to get on the call uh, with Dave Adkins this morning at 10 a.m. He's already posted in the um, in the Unique Results Facebook group, uh, I think, either the login details or you just ping him a message and he'll get those details for you and book you in. So today at 10 a.m. I really recommend uh, catching up with Dave. Um, we've got uh, the next thing is uh, the richer life uh, resilience training that we're doing. Um, unfortunately, there was a slight technical glitch the other day. And those of you, there was over 40 of you obviously on the call. And Claire did a four stage kind of questionnaire, um, which is really going to help her kind of tailor the sessions towards uh, towards the, the participants and the guys that, of you that are going through this great six week program that we're putting on. Now, unfortunately, those questions that most of us answered on the call weren't kind of recorded and, uh, and stored so that Claire can use them. So today, what's gonna happen is, we're going to email you if you're on that call or if, you, if you're one of the people who've, uh, who've signed up for the six-week programme. And we'll also put a post in the Facebook group. And what we are going to need you to do is just quickly go through and answer those four questions. It's going to take a minute at the most, OK? And then you email it back to, rich, uh, to richerlife at clairrich.com. But that will be explained in the email and on the Facebook post. So I really need you to do that today uh, as soon as possible, because then Claire can start tailoring those sessions and weaving her magic and uh, making the sessions even better for us. So we're going to do that, guys. And then also, as I said yesterday, just a reminder, if you're not doing the sessions live, if you're doing the sessions, uh, well, most of you are doing the sessions live, and that is obviously the, the, the ideal way to do them. But a few of them, you know, uh, a, a few of you are working still and you can't make that session every week. Um, then I've supplied you with the recording to watch. So also I'd like you to obviously do these four questions the same way everyone else is. And also uh, I'd encourage you as much as possible to get on the Facebook group and just kind of share some of your experiences and how you're feeling about the Resilience Programme. And, and if you want to share uh, potentially, you know, your purpose, your why, maybe the three goals you're working on, then that will be really, really great as well. OK, so I'd like you to do that. Uh, I'm going to be sharing a blog with you that I did briefly post the other day called The Success Shift, which I think I wrote, I wrote pretty much nine years ago uh, to, the, to the day. OK, um, and that really does kind of I was very naive back then, obviously, as I still am. OK, but but it kind of it, it really kind of when I reread it, it really talks about. The, the, the attitude that you have to approach your kind of challenges and problems with and the difference between a kind of achiever mindset and uh, an achiever mindset and maybe somebody doesn't quite hit that level um, all the time. And it's the real two, the, the core difference when you first approach a challenge or a goal or, a, you know, however you want to frame it. Um, it's, the, it's the attitude that you approach that goal with, okay? And it's the, the two kind of... Um, 
what's the word? I'm live and I can't remember the word. Uh, it's the two, uh, a dichotomy maybe, the two very polar opposite ways that people will approach things, but that makes all the difference, okay? So read that blog and it ties in very closely to work that we're doing with Claire at the moment. Uh, another quick point, tactical strength challenge was due to happen. The strong first tactical strength challenge that we've hosted twice a year, I think for about the last four years. Um, this year was gonna be May the 9th. Obviously we're locked down at the moment. They are giving the option for you to um, to video submit your, 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 your challenge, you know, and you can do, you know, the deadlift, uh, the pull-ups and the snatches at home. I know that most of you don't have the ability to have a proper Olympic bar and all the weights you need and a decent pull-up bar and maybe the right weight to snatch and the ability to film it well at home, okay? So um, they're giving the option to either get a full, full refund at strongfirst.com or what I would recommend is you go on and you edit your uh, your 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 participation or your registration and then you kind of defer that to the next one which is in October okay so we'll definitely be hosting it in October and I want to make October like a massive you know event obviously to kind of uh, to, to bring everyone back together so I would recommend if you've registered for the tactical strength challenge for May you defer that registration to October and we all do it together in October. But if you want to video submit, then obviously you're more than welcome to do that and I'll help you if you reach out to me uh, for that, okay? And then very finally, I just wanna say uh, thank you to Fred Hoisted, long, long-term member Fred Hoisted, who shared a brilliant little 10 minute animation in the Facebook group uh, all around again it ties into everything that everyone is experiencing at the moment and it's a really different way of, of, of looking at the lockdown and, and and the way that we're experiencing the lockdown it's a really kind of funny quirky stylish clever uh, little 10 minute animation that he's found uh, that really sums up the experience that, that we're all going through but it, our experiences are unique but there are some things that are universal and it taps into things I talked about right back you know, 40 days ago, 39 days ago, when we first started doing this, the need to segment your life, the need to have boundaries, the need to have physical spaces set out for different things to kind of keep your sanity and keep you on track. But I'd really recommend you watch that. And thank you very much, Fred, for sharing that with us. So until tomorrow, have a fantastic day. It's going to be lovely. Kettlebells at eight, spinning at nine, pure movement at 11 with Mark. Uh, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.